Wake up, Dad! <gasps> Maths is so fun <laughs> with Mr. Nunch <laughs> in the spring half term. <laughs> what are we learning today? <laughs> well, today we're going to learn how to find the equivalent decimal of a fraction. Yay! Yeah, exciting. And it's the spring uh, half term as well, which means I'm not at school. I'm in my little working space here um, at home, which is where I mark the books and I plan those really fascinating lessons that you come to every day. Haha. Ha. Um, before we move on though, let's look at my shirt. This is actually not a flowery shirt, this is a paisley shirt, but it's my most recent, again from eBay, Ted Baker, about 15 quid I think, good bargain on teacher salary. Anyway, back to the maths. Um, I've got a fraction here, this fraction is one quarter. Now, not many people know this, but um, when you write a quarter like that, it's exactly the same as writing a division sum. And it's just a division sum, it's one, divided by 4. And by carrying out that division sum, we can find out the decimal equivalent of a quarter. Let me show you. So let's start with that, this. So we've got 4, sorry, 1, divided by 4. Put the decimal point in there, decimal point there. So I say, how many 4s are in 1? Of course, there's none. So 0 in there, and we have a remainder of 1 which we move into that column. How many fours are in 10? Of course there are two. And again, there is a remainder of two. Two fours are eight, remainder of two. And we can say, how many fours are in 20? And of course there are five fours in 20. So we can prove that way that 0 0.25 is decimal equivalent of a quarter. And probably you kind of knew that, but that kind of shows the mathematics behind it. So let's have a go at another fraction that might be a little less obvious. Um, let's have a look at 1 ninth, which is one of my favourite fractions, and you'll find out why that is in a minute. So, 1 ninth. Again, uh, 1 ninth is exactly the same as saying 1 divided by 9. So let's write that there. And we can test it out by doing a short division sum. So, 1 divided by 9. So again, you can say, how many 9s are in 1? 0, of course. Put the decimal in there. Um, bring the remainder, which is 1 there. How many 9s in 10? 1. Remainder, 1. How many 9s are in this 10? 1. Remainder, 1. How many 9s are in 10? 1. Remainder, and actually you can carry on doing that. Um, uh, it just reoccurs, um, and I could carry on doing that until I retire as a teacher, which would be very boring, but I could do that, and it would be you know, 0.11111 recurring. Uh, but we won't do that, I think three decimal places is quite enough. So the equivalent decimal of one ninth is 0 0.111. Okay, easy peasy, isn't it? So time for you to have a go. I'd like you to try with um, a seventh. So have a little go at finding the decimal equivalent of a seventh. So I'm going to write that there. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes. Maybe you want to pause your YouTube video and come back and tell me we go through this together when we finish. Okay? So, pause. Boo! I'm paused. Okay. Hopefully, by now you've done this calculation and you have said one divided by seven. And of course, naturally you said how many sevens are in one? Of course, there's no sevens in one, but there is a remainder of one. And we say, how many sevens in ten? Of course, there's one seven and a remainder of three. How many sevens in thirty? There are four with a remainder of two. And how many sevens in twenty? There's two with a remainder of six. We can kind of keep on going. But you can see where we're going with this. The uh, equivalent fraction, sorry, the equivalent decimal to two, decimal, to, to two decimal places is 0 0.14. That's the equivalent decimal to a seventh. So again, now you've learned how to take your fraction and find the equivalent decimal. Anyway, I hope you have a good rest of your half term. And remember, maths is so fun with Mr. Nunch and my flowery shirts. Have a good holiday.